Hello, Dr. M here. In this lecture, we're going to talk about an asymmetric epoxidation of allylic alcohol. Typically, an allylic alcohol has a carbon bonded to a carbon, and that carbon is allylic carbon, so the OH is sitting on the allylic carbon, so you get an allylic alcohol overall shown in purple. The, this reaction was discovered by KB Shapless. Uh, a professor in MIT and that's in the 1980s it's good it's a good reaction because you get to get uh, epoxide a specific enantiomer of the epoxide okay now in the reaction mixture you have a tert-butyl hydroperoxide mixed with titanium for tetra isopropoxide and in the in the and you also have a chiral ligand which is diethyl tartarate which could either be post the plus version or the minus version so the choice of the specific um, stereoisomer of the tartarate will dictate the stereochemistry of the epoxide so in this case if you are using the plus uh, stereoisomer of the tartarate of the chiral ligand, you're gonna exclusively get an epoxide having the dash or the hashed bond, as you would like to say. But if you use the negative, the minus chiral ligand, a uh, chiral ligand of the tartarate, then you're going to end up with the waged epoxide only so it gives you some kind of resolution you could resolve for one of the enantiomers just by switching the type of chiral ligand that you're using all right where does the oxygen come from typically the oxygen comes from the tart butyl hydroperoxide and that's why i've shown it in red this oxygen is just gonna be that oxygen in the epoxide is that oxygen in the epoxide so it's this oxygen that oxygen so the the hydroperoxide gives you the oxygen so let's look at examples remember it's seen addition so you get stereochemistry to show to start with the examples the first question the oxygen that makes the epoxides comes from the tart butyl hydroperoxide that's why I drew it in red to suggest that. But again, you have to be careful to check what type of stereoisomer of the chiral ligand are you given. So in this case, it's a plus one. So we should have the epoxide onto the back. In this case, it's a minus one. So we should have the epoxide to the, towards you, facing towards you. Okay, next question. In this question, you have the epox, the epox, uh, you have the epoxide going to the back because the chiral ligand has a plus sign, so we just have to show the hatched bond. And in this case, you have the minus sign. The epoxide should add across the double bond uh, on the top face or to facing towards you. So that's. The general idea about Shapless epoxidation, you're making an epoxide, and then from here you could open up the epoxide using your ligand, you are using your nucleophile of choice. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.